Hells, how we all diddly doing? How's everybody holding up? I think I had a good sleep last night because I'm on my fucking bullshit today. But I washed my hair yesterday and my fringe is already greasy. Does anybody have any tips for this? Can't use dry shampoo because I have a very sensitive scalp, actually. I have this idea for a bill challenge, right? And I don't know what I'm going to title it. So I'm probably just going to call this video the worst fucking bill challenge yet of my own creation. Thank you very much. And someone might have already done this. But what it's going to be is kind of like a jigsaw puzzle. But I have to build each room separately and then put them together. But that includes windows, doors, and everything. So that's the premise of it. I'm very excited about it. I woke up with a spring of my step. I have a theory that if I had a second chance at my... No, not a second chance. Basically, in an alternate universe, I do think I was a theatre kid. I do, and I just don't think I unlocked this knowledge until, like, age 18, I think, because I live my life in a constant song and dance. Like, I'd try to get a um, coffee thing out of my cupboard, and there was a spider in it, and I made it into a theatrical dance, like a really dramatic, like... <laughs> Hey. And I do have I do have a musical written on my phone, actually. I don't know if this is common knowledge about me, but I do have a musical written in my phone about being constipated. And it basically goes, my intestine is protesting. <laughs> But it's such a false. I've brought it out. There's two characters, me and my intestine. Anyway, yeah, I am a theatre kid. Don't know if you knew. But anyway, let's get on into the pill challenge because I'm just talking shit. Shit anyway. Essentially, right. I'm going to just... Maybe that is a bit too bold, actually. I am just going to draw these just so we can kind of see what space we're working with. A house is like six rooms, isn't it? Couldn't possibly need more than six rooms. I might just dive straight in and do the living room first. Obviously, if I was building a house, usually I'd be like, like, all right, that's one room, that's two room, uh, that's three room, probably change that to that. Where with this, what I'll have to do is have separate rooms like this and then join them on at the end. But I'll have already placed doors and everything. So hopefully it's going to be fun. I also don't know if anybody else has made this challenge. I do think I'm a visionary right now, but I could just be a vision of scary. This is the living room. I am basically recreating my living room. You know what? I stick to what I know and I like what I stick with. I like what I know and I know what I like. There we go. Here's our living room. I am going to deeply regret this bit. I can already feel it in my bones actually it's very strong within me that i will face deep regrets for the actions i've caused on this day but i'm gonna roll with it i am i'm gonna trust my own process there's not much process and i don't have a great track record I, you know what maybe maybe this will just push me out my comfort zone in a way that's good i'm going for a little gold moment oh fancy oh that's interesting i feel like i'm just seeing items for the first time with my own eyes i say this in like every single video but i am i am a creature of habit i am hmm no i don't know what i'm going for i could put this in the corner this could be like a little <gasps> oh it could be a fireplace nook that could actually utilize that space beautifully actually we have options babe we have options but i'd want it to look like really built in i think i'd want it to come out as far as possible or do i just go oh wait no that could be a oh yes that's actually quite nice because then it's rather open do you know what i mean why are you all of my swatches looking different when I actually click it. I'm going to go for that because the wood there matches the wood here slightly. So that's what I'm going to go with. I also feel like I really need windows. Otherwise, this build is going to irk me. I might go for shock horror, a modern look. I, my favourite hobby is repeatedly saying how much I hate modern builds and then consistently building only modern builds. I'm not sure if I'm feeling it because it looks a bit like a bird. Something's not quite working here and I do think it's me it might look better with the second floor and we'll never know well we will know it is blocking a lot i will admit that oh that looks really cool actually it looks like custom content look at me that's a big window that is a lot of windows actually hmm and i don't 100 like how it's clipping can i leave that middle one you know what i think i think i can yeah i'm gonna leave that well i might add it back in because now that is actually just there looking at me it does feel a little odd i do like how that looks and i think this would be really cool add a plant in and this yes is where i'm gonna fuck myself over because I'm putting so much thought and planning into this room. And have I thought about the other rooms yet? Absolutely fucking not, Your Honor. Will I? Uh, when it comes to it, yes. I'm currently not quite there yet. I'm just looking for a nice little flower thing to put on this wall. That's nice. Brings a little bit of earth in and does use up that spare space. So I do like that. I might have this as like earthy. I'm going to pick earthy colours. Oh, I'm fucking with this already. I'm suddenly in love with it. Actually, I am. I'm in love. Never mind fucking build challenge. This is a me just 
100,000 fucking percent enjoy my entire life challenge. Sorry, I just really got swept away in my own excitement. I actually fucking love this room. Like, I don't think you understand. I am actually quite honestly obsessed. I just need to try and find a curtain, but I don't think I'm going to find a curtain that looks good. So I might have to take the L on that. Here is the outside of the room, inside of the room even. I actually really like how those windows turned out. It's so green and there's not actually that much shit in here. Oh, I didn't include a TV, but who needs a TV when you got that fire, babe? Not me. Not me. The only thing I might add in is columns just to base the room up a bit, but I don't think I'm going to find any columns that fucking match a mine. I actually think I just prefer it without the columns. I don't, but I can't find a column that works. I have to, admittedly, I haven't tried that hard, but you know, I am looking to quit before I start. Do you know what it is? We've got a lot of different woods going on. It might feel better if I change the fire. I'll just change it to black there. That fits in better. But yeah, this is the entire room. This is actually inspired by a TikTok that I saw that said, if you want to achieve vibes like this, go for earthy tones and let the plants be the colours. And that is exactly what I did, Your Honour. We've got lots of plants in here. Very snug. Lovely room. Lovely. We'll do the kitchen because I do not like kitchens. I do. I don't. I like what I can be asked with at the time and today is not kitchens and that's how I also judge everything in my life. Favourite sims, favourite everything. So for me, nothing can top that living room and that's that. I am willing and ready to be surprised. So kitchen. I might go for a galley kitchen with a little pantry actually just to make things difficult for myself. Shall I? Or shall I include a dining room with this one? Make things even more difficult for myself. I might include just a cheeky little unassuming nobody knows and nobody has to worry breakfast nook. Although people know because people can clearly fucking see it. But I think that looks quite cute. We shall have, oh this is the big important one because now I'm choosing the doors for the entire property. Maybe that. That's the entryway in the kitchen. This is the entryway in the pantry and then obviously for the little breakfast nook we're gonna have to have a lot of windows aren't we it is looking a bit rapunzel's towerish confidence confidence is suddenly lost again oops whoops <laughs> confidence has been lost no to delete the entire room actually we needed to do this kind of layered effect on that one and with this one i don't think i'm gonna i think i'm just gonna do that now that looks a bit like a science tower i might just delete these windows because i like how big those windows look i might just have that on the front and then that keeps it a bit simple and then we also have space for pictures and stuff otherwise it is gonna literally look like an abduction tower sorry bella goth don't mean to bring you up they don't even have to be full length i suppose we could just have them like this and then that also give some privacy because you know if, if you were just sat eating breakfast at your kitchen you wouldn't want someone to look up your skirt would you and i'm thinking about the sims in this situation i'm a thoughtful person i don't know what i'm trying to do here i'm trying to do something that much is a true it's definitely going to be the ground floor anyway we're not trying to get anything upstairs <gasps> god i never thought about that what if this isn't a bungalow? I don't think it will be. I don't think it will be. Snowy Escape also has some perfect kitchen type windows. Oh, but then if I put them on both, I'm going to delete that one because then this can join on the house this side because if I put windows on both, then we're pretty much fucked, aren't we? Oh, am I tapping into a new identity that I'm going to be obsessed with for a couple of months and then completely reinvent myself potentially? Yeah, potentially. But you know what? brings me a lot of joy and therefore not gonna fight it i like keeping myself on edge because i never know what style i'm gonna obsess over next this kitchen is beautiful and she appeals to me this window doesn't however i might put the window there so we can kind of get away with them and then that on the end and then it's not like blocking in the thing because then a sink will be easily be able to fit in here there you go that is our kitchen pretty much done it is a galley kitchen so it is only small which means at half of the effort you know what i mean i'm not gonna put a microwave next to the sink actually i don't want to kill my sims not yet maybe tomorrow to see where the wind takes me love you know what i hate cluttered kitchens sorry the, the this is my, I, I understand if people like cluttered homes in the sims i don't necessarily like it like i like a couple of knickknacks do you know what i mean but i also don't like my kitchen at home cluttered in fact i don't like much clutter really Really. I think clutter actually makes me feel a bit claustrophobic, Darren. It's just the way my mind works. I really pull on the environment around me. So like my desk is always pretty much clear. My bestie and your bestie. I find that The Sims 4 lets you down, right? Because it's got so many modern objects, but then it doesn't really have that much modern wallpaper and it's quite hard to find a match. I think I'm just going to use this concrete thing. Hopefully we have a darker, I was going to say darker flavor of it, but then is this too much green? Green, 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 green. And I'm going to use the same wood that we used in the living room because i want this to be a cohesive house do you know what i mean i'm not having any mismatching things here right now i don't know what to use for the pantry oh no don't judge my pantry you know but your larder doesn't look any better than this it might do that is a real huge possibility oh actually fuck that no it does look a bit shit i am willing to admit what i can do washer dryer there you go it's a washing and drying station so take your judgment and shove it up your fucking ass and then this little breakfast nook 
Oh, we could use a cast iron tape. I love cast iron, but I'm not going to use it. So clearly I don't love it enough, do I? I'm sorry. <laughs> right, there's our little breakfast area. I think we just need a nice little circular rug. Hopefully we can find a modern one because I love this one, but it just doesn't go with this type of build. But should we have a wine picture? Because I can imagine people putting that up like, oh, ha, ha. let's have a picture of wine over the breakfast table. Wouldn't that be funny, Roger? And then Roger can't hear because he's off cheating on his wife. Sorry. I don't make the rules. I don't make the rules. I just judge on, you know, how the rules <laughs> I used. <laughs> Right, that's that. But I am quite happy with it overall. The outside of it, I'm pretending I don't see it because the outside of it, I don't actually like that much. We need a passage or something, don't we? That's going to be the difficult thing because we actually don't have a front door at the minute. So I might try and make a passage now that hopefully these things connect to. I really am going for a, a modern type today. Pick the door now. Can't go back now. Well, actually I can. I'm going to delete it because I don't think that that brown is going to go with anything else. Perfect. I, I, I'm running out of money though. Let me just mother load thanking you, my darling. People say I know you can just type money in and i do know that i am aware i am aware of the fact i like the sound of me getting money i like the sound of ka-ching ka-ching you know unlike the other jesse j for me it is about the ka-ching ka-ching and i do want that bubbling bubbling i never know what to put in entry ways why do i hate everything and i am really trying to make this layering thing happen and i don't know if it's gonna happen but it, it could be artsy do you know what i mean no that's not artsy that just looks shit sorry no i take it back i do actually quite like that hee hee but i am a bit stuck with what to do because i can't actually do anything else really because i don't want to block up the room for the doors because if i was going to have like a door there then i can't put something there so it is just a waiting gate. Oh my god, I do like these tables. Are they tables? It's a pedestal. Well, it sounds like a table to me, babe. I'm gonna have a little stool there, so you know, if they want to just put on the shoes, they can just sit down, just sit down, babe. It's fine. Oh god, I forgot about this. This is a new one. Like that. That'll do for now. Right, I'll put that there. Fine. I'll put that there. I'll put that there. Yes, that's it. That's the front entryway done. Slightly stressed, slightly stressed, yes. Now all I need to do is the bedroom and the bathroom and that's it. This is just a starter home. Do I make an upstairs? Yes, I'll make an upstairs. We have severely limited our options actually so the only places we've got for doors are here and here but you know what we, we've got an upstairs so we only need a door for two down downstairs you know what i mean right bedroom 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 boop 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 i am going to replicate the idea on the front because i think it'll look nice and it'll you know bring a sense of cohesivity cohesiveness it'll be cohesive there we go bedroom is much too big actually sorry they don't need that many room for activities oh, yeah i'm finding myself really enjoying eco lifestyle with this build and i am flabbergasted by that not that i dislike eco lifestyle by any stretch of the imagination actually i just didn't expect me to you know be enjoying it this much but 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 i am open to the fact that I may change. And you know what? I do constantly hope that I do change throughout life. I think change is a very good thing, actually. Fucking terrifying and it terrifies me. And maybe I am just saying that it's a good thing so I don't frighten myself. I think that change is a good thing. For example, here is a little bit of change that has happened to me recently that is scary because i've changed i can see how it's no longer that scary to me <laughs> i got an overwhelming amount of anxiety today about having to record which this time last year would have just not recorded because i'd have been too frightened actually but this morning i was like yeah that's just the feeling that you get before you actually get to record so just go record and you'll be fine that is true babe that is true and that's why i do constantly hope that i constantly change because change is growth put that in your pipe and smoke it i know it may only sound small but that is actually a really huge development for me and then being able and comfortable with the fact that oh yes this anxiety is actually normal feel for me there's nothing really to be scared about this really really nice and heartwarming actually thank you I'm really proud of myself growth i can't find a fucking light to fit on here and it's really gonna move not really ruin my mood of positivity fuck it you're not getting light fuck it you know what god might have said let there be light and i said let the fucking not this room is actually kind of small i might just extend it out that way you know what i'm feeling i'll be on open and honest with you babe open and honest this is me sharing my opinions right now i want to do a built-in wardrobe but i am shit at them not like a sectional wardrobe but i am just really bad i just don't have the vision for it it's a burden for me i just wish that i was that way inclined but don't think i am Fuck. i can do this well, there we go i think i did it oh babe that's not bad at all in fact i would i'd call that a success hmm i'm quite proud of myself do you know what and all i had to do was try all i had to do was try i'm going all out here don't mind me i am just going to be using this mirror again oh shit i forgot i was supposed to hang clothes 
up here. I know. The mirror can just do its own thing. Do you know, oh, wait, actually, maybe I have found a fix for the issue. What if we put these light up mirrors, LED mirrors behind? Oh, this brings a nice little flare to it. But then look, that little LED mirror in the background there. I don't know what's wrong with me, but I'm really loving all of these concrete walls. Blue makes me feel seasick. We'll just do that. God, I'm really fucking with this house. I would not like to live in it. I would not like to live in it at all. It's way too modern for me. But, but maybe, you know what? Maybe I just need to accept the fact that maybe, just maybe, I do like modern. It's just not my preferred style. I'd rather not have a modern house. Nothing against them. Just not my personal style. All of these rugs are really fucking me over. I'm going to give them one last chance. And if, I, if the rug doesn't go, then they're just not getting a rug. And that's all I can offer. I've done my waiting. There we go. That'll do. Sorted. Right. That's that done. And now the last room that we have to do is actually the bathroom. I'm quite excited for this because I thought that no room would be able to top the living room. But so far, nearly all of them have. Like, they're all quite equal. And I'm going to try something once again out of my comfort zone. I know. I know how unpredictable of me. I am just full on on my bullshit today. I want to try a platform bath. I know. <laughs> I'm so random. I am going to take the concrete walls again. I do. I do. You know what? I know that this is Journey to Batu, but I do like them. And there's the, what the, there's the flower thing. What pack did it even come with? It was a cat. Pets and cats. Pets and cats and dogs. No, seasons this one. I might have... Oh, shit, we can't because of the... I was going to say we could have like a, a plant as well here, but no, unfortunately we can't. I'm sorry. It's just not my fault it's because the Sims Foe is a fucking bitch, but we'll try and make it work. What if we just straight up use vines? That could be cute and romantic, couldn't it? Working under the assumption that they're fake because realistically I wouldn't want any... Oh my God, no, I'd fucking hate something like crawling over me in the bath actually. It makes me sick just thinking about it. No, thank you. But that looks kind of cute. We could even, you know, push the boat out and give this a dark concrete you know <laughs> i really do feel like i am doing the most here god bless me well you know the whole house is so modern this could be like the little whimsical just flash to nature do you know what i mean that's quite cute delete this wall so i can put this there build that wall back up and then i might have this bit as like a little shower area so we've got a kind of wet room almost and i might actually sneak the window there and then we've got more open space on this side when we do end up putting it all together i'm proud of myself around which i'm pushing myself out my comfort zone in this one usually i just you know do the things i'm most comfortable with jobs are good I might just place the toilet there. Fun. And it actually is quite fun. I am actually really enjoying myself at the minute. That's that's now. I uh, like when I put things together, things may change drastically. I hate that. No one's getting a no one's getting a mat. No one's getting a max. Can't make it work. That is the house. I'm gonna remove these now. Let's delete this. Right, here is the front. This is the front of the house. So I think that should go about here. The kit oh wait, no. Oh god, this isn't counting as one room, is it? I'll just have to delete that. But I want this to be counted as the same room. No! It's fine, I'll move them both together. Come on, babe. We know when we're not wanted. Right, they're there. So this is the entryway. We shall have the living room. Where is the archway? There. Hate that. No. I wanted these windows on the front. Ah, oh, fuck. Unless I put that there with the archway there. I have a plan. Can't move that bit though. And then, because we can still do stuff to the outside. We still have plans, babe. We still have plans. And then the kitchen. Oh, fuck. Fuck. This is a long house. Very long house. Kitchen's there. Oh, I didn't put a bathroom. Door to the bathroom. And then they're there. <laughs> Fuck. Oh no. You know what? I was so excited for this house as well. I did forget to build a passage for upstairs because we did have a split decision of like even including an upstairs. So I guess, I guess this is the upstairs. This is the downstairs. I think I may be able to make it work with enough creative energy and planning. The rules are you can mend the outside after you've put it all together. Here I go, babe. Here I go. I don't think I was quite powerful enough to pull this off actually because I'm not a very strong modern builder. I just shot a lot of flat roofs every Everywhere. I think something can be done here. I think it's salvageable. Oh fuck, I actually think I'm doing it. I think I'm doing it and I think it's working. Why is there no windows on the back? I mean, to be fair, the back upstairs is like the, the passage that we added on, but there is literally not one window. Oh fuck. I have made a mistake. <laughs> Mistakes were most definitely made. I'm going to allow myself to add windows just to that bit and also carry on the decoration from up to down. Otherwise, like, I'm not going to let myself add stuff to there because 
because I didn't include them there and that is the whole premise of this challenge. I actually, you know what? I'm not feeling foundations today either. I don't know, I'm just feeling a bit wild actually. I can't be tamed. Big fuck off pool because why be that rich without no pool? Right, so all in all, I think it's pretty much done. There's not much else that I can really do to it without breaking my own rules for the challenge because you kind of just take the house that, you know, you had and then put it all together. I added some trees and stuff outside. So let's take a tour, shall we? This is what it looks like. You know what? It's not as good as I expected it to be. I'll be honest. I expected it to be better purely because the effort that I put inside these rooms. But I am happy with how these rooms look. So first off, we've got the living room, which I love. This is the kind of living room I would like to have for myself, actually. I know I say I wouldn't like modern rooms, but my living room would be a Victorian version of that. And then through here, we have the kitchen, which again, I love. I'm quite proud of the work I've done in all of the rooms. You know, it's not really in depth, but I still think it's good. It's quite small on the downstairs. And then you go upstairs into the void as i am calling it and we only have one room apparently the bathroom which has a fucking roof going through it i didn't add them together properly where the bloody hell is the oh the bedroom didn't have a door did it well the bedroom door should be about here there we go that's the house a catastrophic failure i have really enjoyed the process loved putting it all together next time i will definitely consider more windows thank you i will put this house on the gallery if you want to download it no idea why you would but if you would like to i'm going to put it on as jigsaw challenge plum plum bell and there you go it's up there and if you want to share yours just hashtag jigsaw challenge so that is everything that i have for you today come up with this idea by myself but i'm not going to say that nobody else has done it before me so if somebody else has done it before me it's not that i have purposely copied them it's just that we have the same ideas because we'll be the same people who work in the same thingy that feels like i'm really trying to justify myself but i just still have trauma from last quarantine honestly <laughs> where, where yeah i feel like i have to cover my back and say every single thing possible about challenges and stuff but yes, that is everything I have for you today. I love you all so, so much. Get your jabs, stay safe, and I will see you in the next one. Bye, bitch.